Welcome to My on Mondays, an explorative approach to the possessive my through narratives, art, and sound. Each Monday brings a new creation and unique perspective. My on Mondays is brought to you by Ming Studios, a contemporary art space and international artist residency program dedicated to the exhibition, experience, and exploration of arts and culture. Along with exhibiting artists from around the world, Ming also serves the community by hosting innovative programs including performances, workshops, screenings, readings, artist talks, and other cultural activities. For more information or if you'd like to participate in Maya on Mondays, you can visit our website at mingstudios.org. Hello and welcome to the 26th episode of Maya on Mondays. Today we have a piece by Jens Kuros. Jens has been a professional musician since the age of 15 when he landed his first jazz gig playing drums for a piano trio alongside Buddy Rich sideman Jeff Rue. After studying with jazz greats Billy Higgins and Ralph Peterson, he earned his bachelor's degree in jazz performance from the Berklee College of Music in 2005. Relocating to Los Angeles, Jens played with jazz greats such as Larry Coons and Bob Minzer, as well as members of pop rock groups Weezer and Maroon 5. He graduated from Azusa Pacific University with a master's in jazz performance in 2013. Jens has subsequently toured the world playing storied festivals such as Glastonbury and Montreux Jazz Festival, as well as venues like Walt Disney Concert Hall and the Concert House Berlin. As a composer, Jens's music has been featured in several TV shows and films, such as 13 Reasons Why and Lucifer, as well as the 2016 documentary The Bomb, an immersive audiovisual experience about the history and threat of nuclear weapons which Jens has performed with the band The Acid at several film festivals, including the Tribeca, the Berlin Film Festival, and the Nobel Peace Prize ceremonies in Oslo, Norway. His piece today is titled My Question. So, Shad, Rack, Tuck, okay. Justin, mm-hmm. Frankie Tillo, Sean <laughs> Scrivener. What's the one thing? You There's wish? no right or wrong answer, but the question is: What is the one thing? What's the one thing? What's the one thing that you wish non musicians understood about music or about being a musician? What's the initial question? You wish non musicians understood, understood about music or, or about, about being a musician? Sound of Sean, either music or <laughs> That's being a huge music. question. <laughs> Okay, but mm-hmm. I need to think about it. Non-musicians define that, so that means just everybody who's not... You are being I don't know, great. trying to be a musician. Or you're like a professional musician. Like, if you're not, if you're not <laughs> a professional <laughs> musician. I think... I think that every person... That's so funny. It's so just crazy. <laughs> what they don't realize, maybe, is how much, like, catharsis comes from making music mm-hmm. for one uh, I don't think of music as entertainment it's more of a spiritual experience it's more of the reason why a person would pray that's more of the reason why I play or listen to music probably like the the level of connection that it brings mm-hmm. within people yeah. like within people you play music with and the instant amount of like understanding you have for each other is that a good answer or is that a bad answer was that even an answer i always like sit and wonder like what it would be like to be a person that couldn't just like have this impulse or like didn't have this regular impulse to, like sit down on a piano mm-hmm. or like pick up a guitar or something and just like fuck around for like an hour uh-huh. to have that thing at your fingertips at any point it's like therapy for me specifically like, well as a teacher as a music teacher I find that people tend to categorize themselves as musicians or non-musicians, and uh, I would say that that line doesn't really exist, that everyone... Wow. Like my parents or my mom? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, is a musician or has the potential to be... It's a tough question. It's such a personal a musician. question to you, personally, I guess, what you think. I, I feel like people have real... Um, they've got this box of what music is or what it means to be a musician in their head and it doesn't really that box doesn't really exist you can't label put people in like a whole non-musician musician uh, you know label um, interesting because there's some people that have musical ability that I've met that aren't musicians that 
that when I play for them or, or they hear something I like, we're both hearing the same thing. And they're like accountants. <laughs> but I can tell they have, they know it. They like feel the, well, how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's just something that we have. You, you can't really describe it. I can't speak for like other people's connections with people, but you know, I feel like, but I guess that's what art does. I don't know if it's music specifically, but mm -hmm. that's the first thing that comes to mind, really. The connection. Yeah. Everybody's got their own thing, you know, more or less. But I couldn't imagine, like, my life without having that form of expression, I guess. And, and just being able to, like, create something that you can listen to and, 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 like, respond to in a visceral way that's beyond just, like, you know, writing something down or mm -hmm. something like that, you know? You wish people understood how cathartic, how expressive, how satisfying, how helpful um, just the act of creating though something is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, cathartic is the right word, but it's yeah. so also kind of incomplete. It's like, right. it's so satisfying to be able to sit down and create something. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone should be able to find a place in expressing themselves through sound in whatever way that means anything to them you know there's something about creating something that is like from your heart and like your emotions all kind of combining into one thing that you just like you fucking made mm -hmm. that um there's like no words for how like how great that feeling is it's just like a feeling that i wish that people that weren't artists could, could feel mm -hmm. you know yeah because like, i and i wonder like what is it What's life like when you don't have something like that? Like, yeah. I, I legitimately have no idea. Like, I, there's some people... Sometimes I really can, like, empathize with certain people's situations and I can be like, oh, I, this is must be what it's like to be this kind of person or whatever. Yeah. But I think, like, a life devoid of, like, art in general is, like, a, a lifestyle that I can't really imagine. Like, mm. it's just not the way my brain works. Yeah, so <clears throat> you're saying that you wish people understood that they're... They are all positions. Yeah, and I and I feel that way because um, I, there is this weird thing about putting musicians on a pedestal mm -hmm. um, that sometimes, like, oh, I'm not, I'm not a musician, but like, wow, like what, the things you can do, it's incredible. I could never do that. And it's like, no, I mean, you could. <laughs> you know. Hold on, I like being put on a pedestal. <laughs> Well, we all, that's, why, that's why I do that's why I do this is my motive at primary <laughs> if you want another answer this would be my other one I'll take uh, two but I think there, there, there's something to be said about doing something because you love to do it and the payback really only comes through the connection with other people because that's well, I think what fulfillment is it's not it's like it's not this instant thing or it's not it's like this constant thing you work at. Fulfillment is highs and lows and mm -hmm. everything that comes from it. In this quest to connect, or like in this like journey to connect with the people around you. Mm. So you, you just wish people understood how good it felt to express yourself. Yeah. Like you can make the coolest shit that you think should exist. That's what I think is so cool about art. It's like, yeah, I could, I could like search deep far and wide like I could go to every blog there is and be like what are the best albums like ever you know and I could look look and try to find them the coolest thing at the end of the day is like being an artist is like you can just like make that shit like you can just like think of like I want something to sound like this mm -hmm. and I like a little bit of this and I like a little bit of that and I can like throw it all together and like consume this like delicious meal that like I've always wanted to consume mm -hmm. for myself. And I think that that's another thing that I think that people that aren't artists should maybe take away too from this is like being a consumer is nice, but like, you know, being a creator is a lot nicer because then you can also consume your own creation, <laughs> you know, and you can like enjoy the fruits of your labor, uh -huh. you know. So what you what are you so, saying and what you want them to understand? It's is, a hard question to answer. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, it's a point, Matthew. I don't, I don't, you know, what you want to look is what you're trying. I to want everyone to love my music. <laughs> want, okay, simple. Yeah. Is that the same answer as everybody else? <laughs> That's the fifth time I've heard that. <laughs> I think there's um, I'm detecting a pattern. Yeah. Watching someone who's really good at, at playing music or whatever is like the 
people have this kind of sensation of that's un- unattainable, unattainable something, and you wish they didn't have that. Maybe like playing a burning guitar solo is very much attainable. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's actually really easy. I'll teach you the scale. <laughs> <laughs> one of the ten minute answers. That's I want long winded. But um, the idea of like you have to have X amount of craft in order to be considered a musician. Yeah. Like I don't feel. I think we focus too much on that aspect of being a musician. I, I just wish that... I think the world would be a better place if everyone realized that they had something con- to contribute to music regardless of the degree of craft that they can deliver in this moment. Well, you know? that was it right there. That was, that was the <laughs> one. That was the one. That was it. <clears throat> um, I feel like if I could just implant that into someone and be like... There are things out there that fulfill you in this way that, mm-hmm. like, buying something doesn't. Oh, yeah. Or that, like, if you could just be like, no, you, you don't do this because it's cool or because you have a cool guitar or an amp <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you you do it because there is this, like, deeper level of... If, if I'm not claiming that you do, but if you feel misunderstood by other people who don't play music, you think it's because that that's the reason that they don't understand that they could be doing what you are doing? I mean, I uh, when I feel, let's see, I'm trying to think of like times that I've felt misunderstood by other people. Yeah, it's usually, um, yeah, people that haven't studied music at all, they talk about me as if I have this like, oh, you have this this gift, or I have this, and I'm like, seriously, I don't. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, I I, I don't think I was a, like much of a standout musical student you know, for a long time until I figured out, oh, if I just work on certain things and this, you know, then, then I started to become more of a standout music student, you know, as I got older, but I, I think it was just like anyone else. And I can think of lots of things that I couldn't do as well as other musicians around me. And I just, you know, I just worked on it and, uh, and everyone's got, you know, I, you know, we're all, uh, different people. Everyone's got, you know, brains that are wired a little differently from one another and some things are going to come easier to some people than other people in terms of, like, the craft side of music, right? But yeah, no, I often feel like that's a, that's a misunderstanding. Yeah, that I have some crazy gift that other people don't have and I really, I really don't feel that way, you know? I don't feel that way either, but I let them believe that because it makes me seem <laughs> like more of a... <laughs> no, I, yeah, no, I will, I will, I think that you're... you're... <laughs> I, I, I don't, like, if I think of the history... I mean, okay, so the last few hundred years, music has been presented in concert forms, and that's mostly in the West, but, you know, for the rest of the world, for most of time, it was like this bigger thing. You, you made contact with God through it. Uh, yeah, so I don't think of music as entertainment, and I think if, if I... That's one of the things I would want, uh, that, that, and then there, there was one other thing that came to me at the same time, let see if I can remember what that was. It's even worse. People don't see music as entertainment, but they see it as something that kind of supplements or augments something that's entertaining. You know, it's like mm-hmm. music exists as a film, like a, like a mm-hmm. film score, like a coming into a film, or it's something mm-hmm. they put on while they exercise, mm-hmm. or while they fold their laundry, or whatever. Um, or know. during their, uh, uh, or while they're eating dinner. Well, yeah, it's not something that exists in itself. It's something that exists yeah. to supplement other stuff. Right, people will, like, be driving or, like, doing whatever they're doing. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's, a, I think, for non-musicians, like... Music is a very second rate, um, like activity. Like yeah. it's very, it's like it's something that's just like there to um, supplement what they're already doing. Yeah, and so I think to like just trying to find ways to like force people to like actually listen beyond just you know. Also, people's uh, perception of music is really narrow. Like it's a very small box. But if you were to actually look at what music has been to humans like across all of history and across the whole world it's this huge playground of sound Mm -hmm. you know and can be meaningful to humans in so many different ways Mm -hmm. and like a lot of the notions that we have for what makes music you know good music or even just music in general comes from like a very specific part of the world I would say it's like if it's to an audience of people coming to watch is that it was it's kind of like what I said at that house concert we played at um, that everyone that's in the room like musicians are almost at the mercy of listeners 
or supporters or, or people who are willing to either put money towards or energy towards or investment of time towards um, supporting them. Like, like we're almost at the mercy of that, even in being able to create what we want to create. Mm-hmm. So like, like, like I was saying about pay, a painter can you know, get a canvas and make what they want to make. But like musicians usually need other people outside of the band or outside of who themselves to make the music come come to fruition in any way and and in that way in a very real sense audiences have a opportunity to to almost be part of the band but definitely be part of the music making process and i know i'm sure you've experienced as much as i have like the audience that's there basically i mean almost can determine the quality of how well the musicians play if they if they show up willing to listen to kind of put away what they were hoping to see or experience and try to and try to make like connection with the people making the music then you know something kind of close to miraculous on occasion has happened and um those are some of my best musical memories. Like, I guess music specifically, because it's not like a painting where you just, you know, there's like interaction between yeah. instrumental. It's kind of inherently a social yeah. art form. Yeah. Like yeah. Express. I guess they really much thought. You know, no, no. Recently, recently, I've been trying to get it out of that mindset. And I've just been practicing and not, I'm seeing more beauty in it instead of like worrying about it. Yeah, like, oh, my name's you. Like a steady tempo. Because some days I wake up and I. You're gonna have some splicing to do. I literally have no thoughts like that in my mind. I just, oh, there's some work to be done. I have some songs I want to learn, and that's where and that's where it ends. Like I don't, I don't know who's gonna hear. It. I don't care personally. I just want to be able to. So play. you would say there's nothing that you want. You wish those people understood about you. Um, for art. You're content just being kind of like a self-contained artist and like doing your own thing. And now I'm all turned around. I'm like. <laughs> Is that what's happening when you're playing music? Are people enjoying it? You know, they don't really realize it, but it's up to them. In a very, in a very real way, it's up to them whether or not it's going to be a good show. Without realizing it, you know, like, guitars all over. <laughs> you know, like, but in reality, they're, you know, just spice that guitar soul. <laughs> I wish people could. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I don't know that. Don't know That's that. true. It's pretty hard. I mean. I was going to say about, you know, you can make the music here, and maybe this isn't different from a painter in this case. You can make the music here, but even then, everyone who decides to listen to you Mm -hmm. on Spotify, every single person who decides to look you up on YouTube to buy your records, um, or, or labels that choose to support you, or whatever, it's still such a connective thing. You're still at the... It's like, you still need... Other, you still need a lot of other people to, to in order to be able to continue doing what you're doing. So I guess I mean, yeah, painters would obviously need that too, but uh, or any artist. But uh, I still think there's something about even even when it's you know online or something, people choosing to listen to you become part of what you've made in a, in a very like real way. Mm-hmm. The statement you made about people being able to come to a concert without expectation, mm-hmm. you know, that is the tr- trickiest thing of all. Because you say you're going to a band that you like, you're a big fan of the band, whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. You've listened to their records, you love their records, now you want to go hear them live. So you have this expectation yeah. because of all the records you consume of what mm-hmm. they're going to sound like. And that actually spoils the experience. It absolutely does. That's what I was going to say. It's like, you, ho- you better hope. They don't play any of that stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People, people crave the familiar, and mm-hmm. it's kind of like the role of an artist to, like, to as best they can, um, lead them into the unfamiliar. Mm-hmm. And when people are going to live music, to have their expectations filled, mm-hmm. fulfilled, and be somewhere that's familiar and comfortable, that, that makes it really difficult. I have a lot of respect for artists that like can kind of bring things from like the avant-garde or something or or bring things that are from you know more experimental realms of music and like package them in like a a, a neat like kind of more easy to consume way for a lot of people Mm -hmm. because i think it provides a lot to offer for people that would normally not be into those kind of sounds or kind of ideas or totally i think that's kind of the role of artists yeah kind of you're trying to you're trying to like teach people Teach sounds too condescending, but you're trying to show people new ways. If you're a painter, you're trying to show people new ways to see the world. 
right. if, you're, if you're a musician, you're trying to show people new ways to listen. And right. Very. I think that's very true. And like you know, there's really abstract, cool, you know, bonkers, crazy, dissonant stuff out there that's really interesting to listen to, but that you know, uh, you know, your average person is never gonna listen to. And if they ever heard it, they would be very put off, off put by it. But if you right. can like package it in a way that right teaches, like they gets them listening to weird stuff, then mm. you're like you're really like improving that person's life. You're like you're expanding right the way they can hear the world, and you're really like doing them. You're like making the world a better place. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, that, that feels nice. That would be nice. And that happens occasionally. You have people come up to me after be like, said some things in a way that really I feel like, oh man, you, 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 listen. you really listened. Yeah. I think I made you cry tonight. Or I, I really made you feel some emotion. Or I, or I I surprised you because you didn't think it was going to be like this. And also on the other end though, there's been a lot of, there's people who surprise me. You play, uh, you play music and there's someone who's like, I don't know anything about music, but like, yeah. this is what I got from it. And you're like, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. It worked. <laughs> no, I totally agree. And it kind of comes back to like the main point that you're making about like what should non-artists like learn or musicians or artists. And um, I think that one thing that we like we as artists could do for someone who's not an artist is to do that very thing where it's like here's something really interesting in a way that maybe you're used to yeah. consuming something mm-hmm. and maybe just maybe you'll take away something new from it and mm-hmm. like and, and and maybe your taste is expanded or whatever or maybe you just you didn't like it at all and that's fine mm-hmm. but but the, like but it forced you to to like hear something different outside of your expectations for yeah. a minute or, or whatever and yeah and and i think that yeah i think that the best artists i've seen do that yeah you know? i guess that's what you connect with mm-hmm. but if you just break down that wall a little bit mm-hmm. there's a whole world yeah of what you can call music what Sean was saying. Mm-hmm. i wish people would realize that um music isn't necessarily supposed to just kind of um it's not supposed to be familiar all the time mm-hmm. or like there's nothing wrong with music that's familiar there's nothing wrong with listening to the records you love over and over again or the songs you love over. that's fine that's good right that's right. human mm-hmm. but like if you're just willing to put a little effort in you right. just will just work just a little bit like the universe will open up to you in ways music can show you so much stuff like it gets the, the emotions and the ideas that it's capable of communicating are so much more complex and so much more interesting right and there's such an unexplored universe there for people you know and that if they just just listening to music that sounds like the music they already know just like staying comfortable yeah is like it's fine but if it's all you do it's kind of like killing you right just right. a little bit <laughs> oh, yeah I agree with that there's a whole world of things that will move you yeah if you just let go of that notion that if you're not covering some song with this amazing voice or if yeah. you're not Last Dance with Mary Jane or whatever you know <laughs> those no are the only things that can move you everything else in between mm-hmm. doesn't count as music yeah. I feel like you know everybody feels like a critic of music but then at the same time says I can't do music people shouldn't ask themselves whether or not they like it they should ask themselves what is this person trying to say yeah that's like really good advice for like how to listen to music. Interestingly enough, like a whole world of other music that's like really poorly performed, like you know performed at like a sixth grade level, but like it's really really saying something that's really honest and really genuine and like really deep, and you can listen to it. And you're like, oh, wow. No, it's good. I did a listening session with my students, uh-huh. uh, and and that was what I said. I said I want you to listen to this thing. I said, I said turn off the thing that is trying to decide if you like this or not. Just, yeah. just don't even listen for that part. Yeah. Just turn off that voice and just listen to the sounds and try to figure out what they're trying to say. And I just think it's... And it was... I could see in their life they never considered that yeah. before. You're only taught to think, like, when you listen to music, do I like this or not? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's a dumb question. You don't have to. I wish someone had, had like, broken that down for me when I was in... I don't know how old Yeah, to was. quote some of my favorite artists, you know, you can learn everything there is to know about notes, everything there is to know about chords, and still be nothing. Yeah. You know, unless you let go of what's holding you back or something, like where you, you 
find that other thing like, like, that you can't describe it. Anything done with regularity, you know, no matter how amazing it is, becomes uh, mundane and uninteresting. It could be the most, it could be, it could be having orgies with supermodels. It could be jumping out of an airplane with your hair on fire. If you did it. Every, Every day. day, 24 hours a day, it would yeah. not be <laughs> interesting or fun anymore. And music is one of those things that's such a magical, emotional, spiritual, mystical thing, but it's become like just the wallpaper to our everyday lives now, and that makes it interesting. If you're just doing that, then uh, just the fact that you're there, that means who cares what people think, because they're... Most of them don't even know you're there. <laughs> you know, like is that it? Could could the answer yeah, could the answer to the question be that simple? If I say, what is it that you wish these people understood? You can say, I wish they understood that I was there. Yeah. Oh, God, I you music, you fucking idiot. I'm like, well, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know that's <laughs> But you wish people understood is that when you play music, it's like you giving them a middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> I think just sticking with like you know. Just the drive to be like, look, I can make something. <laughs> there is value in this, you know. And the value is, is that you do it. What makes me happy is making music, you know, in the right situations. So you're not trying to be understood. I mean, I don't go around, hey, does everyone understand? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in life, not even the music, I mean, uh, no, I don't actively think about it. I don't think about it. So you don't have an answer, essentially. Well, there's nothing that you wish they understood. I mean, it's like let them be. They, they can you help. Do you, you do you. They do them. You do you. It's amazing seeing someone who's eight years old mm-hmm. play something, and you're like, I get it. like kids are always amazing. They're like they're amazing, you know. Yeah. They're like it's so flowing. All this energy, all these things can be channeled so easily. And it's like before you get all closed off and like all these like, preconceived notions. Of, what emotions are allowed yeah what. and I think that's like that's what's sad about it I guess is I wish people could understand like early on that that's there's like this amazing way to connect mm-hmm. and process like there is a way to be like just a little bit less alone Lost the plot, but that was fun to talk about. Good, okay, cool. Don't show this anybody. <laughs> talk, guys. Um, good talk. That's probably plenty of material. Yeah, we've been speaking for. Okay, long. that's good. Thanks for joining us for today's episode. We'll be back next week. Tune in.